Hey, 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 it's Megan. And this is Koo. And we've been out for a while, but we are ready to get back into it. Um, we've been gone for, what, about a month now? I think it feels like it's more, more than, than a that. month. Yeah, y'all been gone for more <laughs> A lot has gone on um, yeah, in our life. And it's just the two of us today. We are short three, but it's cool. It's like two friends talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the next time when we come back, uh, the other three, we can all just go through what we had talked about today and put some input on that. Yeah. So today we're going to be talking about um, just things that have been happening with us in the last couple of months um, and the reason why we've kind of been gone. And I feel like um, for me, life has been so chaotic. Um, I've been dealing with so much where I feel like I have too much on my plate and they've, I've been handed side plates. Um, a lot's been going on. So, And what do I always tell you? To breathe. Besides that. Stop biting my nails. Besides that. Um, think positive. You can say no. I can say no. <laughs> you can say no. I can say you no. You don't have to save everyone. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So pretty much um, just been going on things, especially like you have kids and, you know, your kids turn into whoever they want to be. And sometimes they make bad decisions. And so with my son, I've just been dealing with a lot of back and forth um, for bad choices that he's made. And it's consumed a lot of my life lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and then just different things going on with my husband. Um stuff like that. And, uh, I just feel like overwhelmed at times, you know, I really don't have time to get out. And I feel like a lot of people like our and group, you need, you need time I to need, get out. <laughs> I need to, but it's, it's, it's very, it's very hard. Um, uh, I just am trying to keep my head up, keep faith and just keep moving forward in life. It's hard. It, it's hard. It's hard. Cause you're, you're, you're getting thrown a lot of stuff all at once. I am. I don't even know. Um, how I manage it, but somehow I do. Um, a lot of times I used to look way ahead and plan way ahead when I needed to stop doing that. Um, it's about living in the moment because you can't control what's going to happen in the future. You can can't yep. control what happens today. And um, I'm just starting and to And what learn. you say and do affects what can happen in the future too. So if you're not, if you're not thinking about the things you're saying and doing to your kids, to your friends, family, that affects what can happen in the future. Yes, so. I know. I'm so stressed out and I've just been a yeller. <laughs> I know. That's why I always tell you, stop yelling at them. <laughs> I know. It's just the it's just the way that I communicate and it's bad and I'm trying to not do that. And it's not like I'm trying to take my frustrations out on them. It's not. I just. But it does come off that way, though. It does. It does. Yeah. I left today and I was just like, you know, make sure these dishes are done. Make sure this is done. And then Jillian's like, I don't know why you're always yelling at me. And I'm like, I'm just, I'm stressed, you know. It's hard. Life's hard. <laughs> what is one or two things that you think you, you could take away that could help you not be so stressed? Something that you're really not responsible for, okay? Like you're something that you're doing for other people that you don't need to be responsible for because they are grown. They can do it themselves. Yeah. Um, Let's I, start there. <laughs> baby steps for ba you. <laughs> baby steps. Uh, just it's not what we're taking away. I think it's um, doing more in life. Like I every day is a set schedule in life. And I know a lot of people probably feel like that because you have work, you have this, you have kids and it becomes so repetitive that like you don't feel like you are living you're just existing true and then when i feel like i just exist that's when a depression comes over you know yeah and that's i agree hard. i agree because that's um i would say if we're talking about like things going on in life and, and change and all that stuff like at the beginning of the year i took a lot of time for myself like i was working out i was journaling i was you know doing so much like me time and just saying no like my friends would be like let's hang out and i'm like no Let's meet up. No. And I felt like, damn, you're a bitch. But I'm like, you know what? No, I just I don't feel like it. I don't fucking feel like seeing people. <laughs> I don't feel like seeing you. I love you. But you know what? I need to be by myself. Exactly. And at the beginning of the year, choosing me, I was happy. Yeah. Like I was happy. I was doing things that I wanted to do. And people were telling me that, oh, you look great. You look great. You know, and I was just like, OK, whatever. And then now that I look back because I've fallen so far back from who I was at the beginning of the year and just these last couple of months. Mm -hmm. 
I do see what people were saying. And I, I think that, like you said, too, we get into this routine of work, home, da 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 okay, go to sleep, work, home, da 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 yep. It's just like repetitive and then you just don't do anything for yourself. It catches up to you. And that's kind of like where I'm at right now, too, where I'm kind of like you, where I go to work, I come home, I do homework. Or lack, or I don't do homework. <laughs> lack, lack, lack thereof. <laughs> but, but yeah. So I know that for me, it's stop wasting your fucking time doing shit that you don't need to be doing. Because yeah. I've just, I just waste time now, and I, I hate that I do that. Like I used to, I used to come home and be like, okay, working out, and I can't do anything until I work out. So I'll get my workout, and it's not even a long workout. It's like 20, 30, 45 minutes, depending on how I feel. Yeah, it's the weekends when I was doing like an hour or two of working right. out. But and, yeah, we talk about working yeah. out. Do you remember when yeah. we, me and you, we worked out like we were religiously working out? Like, do you but know you, how good? you felt different though, right? I felt amazing. No matter yeah. how much stress, no matter how much pressure, no you matter could handle all it. the shit I was going through, fucking just working out, leaving that gym, I felt great. Yeah. Like, I was like, fight me. <laughs> like, I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. Um, I think that's what you need to do, though. Like, if it's one thing that you can do, like you were saying, it's not what you can take away. But if it's one thing that you can do, one thing that you can add on to everything you're doing yeah. is going to the gym. Yeah. Even if it's 30 minutes, go to the fucking gym, Megan. I know. I have every <laughs> excuse in the book of why I can't do things. And you have a gym by you. So I, you really can't Like a say, mile away. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's what you need to do for the rest of the year is just challenge yourself. Like, even if you don't go every day, mm -hmm. go like three times a week. If you can't make it on the weekdays, go every go Saturday and Sunday. That's two days already. And do one day out of the week. Yeah. And the thing is, too, it's like I want to be able to do that. And you said that life is just repetitive and you just keep going and going and going. But you control that narrative. But, though. I, but I, I do. Yeah. But it's like also, too, it's like, you know, and I, other people can probably feel to this, too. You know, when your kids don't do shit, they just sit around. They're lazy bums. They make a mess, make dishes. You come home to it's a, called paper plates. Girl, I went to try to buy paper plates at Walmart. I picked them up and it was like 180 plates for like $19. I put those. You better go down. to the dollar store. <laughs> exactly. So, you better but, go to the dollar store. That's where my mom goes. Yes, I am 36 years old and my mom still grabs plastic plates. She ain't fucking around. No. She's like, no. <laughs> yes. So, yes. It's just like, no. oh my gosh. Like, and it's like, they're just <laughs> so lazy, but no, I, I, I just, I need to get back into it. And I need, I think once I take more control over my life and pull myself out of this like manic depression, then like everyone else will follow suit with me too. You know, it's because it's the environment, you know, I'm so depressed. It's like repetitive. But and like I said, though, you have control of your environment though. So what is it with the kids that you can control? What kind of change can you implement on? The household that won't stress you out so much. Yeah. I mean, I just asked them to like pick something up and it's the biggest deal ever. It's like, so it's like, you know, I try to implement things. Yeah. I try to give them chores. I try to tell them to do this. And it's like, it's the biggest job. It's like, I'm asking them to build a house. Don't you pay for the phone bills? Don't you pay for the internet bill? Yeah. You don't do chores. You don't get shit. Right. <laughs> I, I know. I know, but then I have to listen to the retaliation, especially and, with my son, you know. And I know. You got to learn to not let that get to you because he does that because he knows it's going to get to you. Let him talk your ear off. Like when we go to the store and my nieces didn't cry, I look at them like, go ahead. You look like the fool, not me. Right? Go ahead, cry. You're not getting that toy, especially with your attitude right now, right. too. So you just you have to learn that, that. I think that's part of it, too, is you have to learn how to not let that get to you because they know how to play. Your kids know how to play their parents. I know they do. They do. They're the and greatest manipulators. They're playing ever. you, and you just keep giving in to them. Oh, who pays for the Wi-Fi? I do. Okay, then I pay for it all. Everything. Okay, okay, then. <laughs> Guess you're not eating if you ain't doing dishes. Then, <laughs> right? Locks on the fridges. I'll give you that code when you deserve it. I they think can make bread. I know. Pizza rolls. I know. CPS would probably be called for me locking <laughs> yeah. the fridge. <laughs> Yeah, don't lock the fridge, but, you know, have, like, breads and stuff out for them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they can still eat, but, no, you just paper plates, girl, if they're not doing dishes. Yeah, so I'm um, definitely, I, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm so close to the gym that just spending, even back up, back up when we, we went to the gym, like, on the days we didn't go to the gym, Yeah, I had to come home, and, of course, I had to do, like, my stuff. At that time, at that point, I was living with my parents because I just purchased my first house. So it was cheaper to live with them at that yeah. time than rent. And 
Um, I would come home. I would, you know, feed the kids. I would put them to bed and then it would be nine 30 at night and I would go to planet fitness and I'd be there till 10 30 and come home, go to bed. So you're better than me. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, it would be, we would have a horrific snowstorm. And I'm like, I'm going like, I have been that, like, it's snowing. I got to get home. <laughs> I know. But that's, that's how, um, that's how dedicated, that's you how dedicated I was. And like, believe it or not, like, um, when we were at, when we worked together, like we would meal prep, um, all our meals, like you would make a meal. I would make a meal. Don't lie. I was a lazy bitch. I just bought <laughs> shit that we could microwave that was healthy. <laughs> you could. <laughs> Okay, I cook. But like we did breakfast together, we did yeah, lunch, lunch together. And, and then um we were dedicated to it and believe it or not, like I lost 100 pounds in less than 8 months. Yeah. Just healthy eating. Yeah. And um working out. And the weight came off quick. I was like, "Oh, guess what? I'm down 5 pounds." But you sneeze and it comes back on. <laughs> right? <laughs> I smell whatever she was cooking and I already gained 10 pounds <laughs> for real. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that, um, as far as like just changes that like need to be done in life, I mm-hmm. think it's just thinking about yourself more. Um, I, yes. And it's not, you're not being selfish if you're thinking about yourself. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. Especially remember that, right. Especially since your kids are older, I feel like, you know, when you, when your kids are really young, like you yeah. have this obligation to them, you kind of do have to, you know, put yourself second because they depend on you. Yeah. They have no one else but yeah. you. And but they're at the age now where they're almost adults. Like they need to start realizing that I don't do everything for them. No, because you know what? At eight at eight years old, we were washing dishes. <laughs> we were cooking at 12, 14, we were cooking dinner. Oh my gosh. Full blown dinners with my parents. So <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Your kids got it good. <laughs> my my son, my son is 17 years old, right? And he asked me. How do you make eggs? <laughs> Did you show him? Please tell me you showed him. <laughs> I said, is that a serious question? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. He's like, how do you make them? I said, okay, what kind of eggs do you want? Yeah. There's more than one egg. <laughs> okay. Like, how do you want them prepared? I don't know. Just eggs. There's sunny side up. There's over easy. Scramble. There's scramble. With there's cheese. poached, right? <laughs> there's omelets. There's, yeah. Well, I don't know what that is. You know, and it's just like, I'm a loss for words. I don't even know how to even like talk about that because it's like something. (laughs) Wait, but did you show him though? Yeah, I did show him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was was he mind blown? He was mind blown. (laughs) He was mind blown. And he's like, why do you have to open the eggs and then put them into another container and stir stir them? Because you want to mix them together. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So it is, it's, it's time that I start getting the kids. I mean, Nathan's going to be 18 and. When he's 18, like he he's an adult. Well, I already said it before because um you like to cook anyway. So you should do like at least once, if not once a week, like once or twice a month. You like family cooking. You guys all cook together. Yeah. My family see, we used to cook together as a family too when everybody didn't get married yet, you know, yeah. all my sisters and then we're still living at home. We used to cook. We had our stations, you know, everybody had their stations and mm-hmm. whoever didn't cook, you know, wash the dishes, clean off the table, why you sweeped, whatever. So we we did it as a family, yep. and um, I can't say that I learned much of anything. <laughs> but um, I'm a very good dishwasher, though. I will <laughs> say you can come to my house and do dishes that are left in my sink. I the second will, though, that I come home, they're gonna still be there. It's relaxing to, it is, to me. Washing dishes is really relaxing. You get the right playlist on, man. You get a concert and dishes washed. <laughs> I have an extra room in my house. <laughs> you moving in? You're hired. <laughs> Trying to apply for the position without knowing you actually applied for the position right. and you got hired. <laughs> Wait a minute, was this an interview? <laughs> it wasn't. You you're hired. I'll start you off with free meals. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, no. Speaking uh, speaking of meals, um, like um, Ku and I back in the day, we had gone to this Korea, uh, Korean restaurant uh-huh. in Chicago, and um, we had tried like all this type of uh, what is it? The side dishes? The, we have the side dishes, but also the main meals. Like we had. Um, oh, the meats that we were barbecuing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the briskets, the uh, pork belly. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then what else was the other one? Mm, I think it was just like marinated beef. Okay. But I like 
love Korean food now. Oh, the bulgogi that the you bo- bought? Yes. 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 So um, so I had went to a Korean um store with Kua at one point. Super H Mart. Yep, Super H Mart, <laughs> which is an awesome, awesome grocery store. If you've never been there, I would recommend it's going a there. Dream. It is. It has <laughs> everything you can think of. I felt like a kid though, because like they have like live crabs. Like in these like bins and like you can the take tilapia. That's all the fish. I mean, they have fish. They have sea urchins. They oh, have. They had a um, poke station and they had like all these veggies that you'd never even like heard of. And, and yes. Touched. Oh my gosh. And I was like, yes. I, and I wanted to take everything with me. I mean, literally, like I feel like when you go there, like you're going to like. It's hard. It's hard because yeah. there's 75 different types of mushrooms. And I was like, oh my gosh, like. I wanted to buy it all, but I know that like I wouldn't consume that in that amount of time. But it really stinks because we need an H Mart over here. Yeah, we do. Because we do. I I would live there. <laughs> I, I, I would I would be broke. I'd probably get a job there. <laughs> right, we'll run H Mart. We should open H Mart. <laughs> We're gonna open an H Mart. Yeah. Open an H Mart. <laughs> It was like honestly, but we need a Paris baguette too. I gotta have my bakery. <laughs> yes, Anna. Yes, we will do that as well. Man, that 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 store is huge. Um, it has so much, and I it's awesome. It is awesome. But not to mention the liquor selection. I don't drink, but the liquor selection, those Hello Kitty liquor bottles, they were so cute. Oh my gosh, the wine bottles. Yes, I just wanted I them for the bottle. <laughs> <clears throat> I know. And then we um, so we went to H Mart, and I picked up um. What kind of alcohol was it? Um, I don't know. It was just pretty. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was pretty. I had no. I had I think no. it might have been sake though. Sake, it okay. Japanese. Yeah. yeah, but it was like five little bottles, <clears throat> and it was what twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. So I go and I'm checking out, and the lady is ringing up each individual one in the pack, oh, and it yeah. came to like a hundred dollars. I'm like, what? I was like, damn, she's. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, and I'm like, no, I'm like, that's like, that's. No, like that's a pack. It said it was twenty four ninety nine. She's charging me per little bottle. I said you can take it back <laughs> if that's the price. But she fixed it, thank God. <laughs> yeah, she fixed it. Wait, did you ever drink it? Yes, I did. What is? How does it taste like? It was. It was good. It was. It was strong. It had a different taste to it. Um. So what I did was I dumped half of it into a cup and then like I added like um one of the bubblers to it. Oh, bubblers! I added a bubbler to it. It was bomb. It was delicious. Yes. It was amazing. Um, one time I, I took a um a good luck shot with D and um I had tequila. I had, yeah, tequila, and then I didn't have it, I didn't have anything as a chaser but bubbler. Oh perfection. <laughs> yeah, right. You can literally take any shot you want and chase it with bubbler. And yes. It's, it's like it's like, oh, that wasn't that bad was at good. all. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna become an alcoholic. Right. <laughs> For real. I was like, I had to reconsider this not drinking life. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we we had gone there and it was just yeah I I just if I, no one has ever been there it's in Chicago Niles Niles Illinois Niles. right wait I don't even know Niles it's not like in Chicago but yeah but you know what <laughs> right it, it's yeah but it's the produce is so much different mm-hmm. than like it looks so fresh it too, it is so right? fresh like you can just tell like everything and it for all the like vegetarians and vegans let me tell you their tofu aisle Ooh, is yes. incredible <laughs> yeah i was like and i i i enjoy vegan and and vegetarian dishes mm-hmm. and i was just like oh my gosh you have like literally 60 different options yep. for tofu yep and it was just it amazed me and yep. like um it is not it's not just the what is it the soft and the um what Hard, hard and firm, firm whatever it was yeah it's all kinds different options yes and it was like reasonably priced yes and um uh just the pro fruit and everything like that especially um i tried an asian pear for the first <gasps> oh, time how was that that was delicious it was you know what you can do with that too a lot of times in a lot of their korean recipes is they'll use the um the korean pear as a, a um seasoning for their meat oh wow yeah it up I, I think you know you, how it's sweet yeah and they yeah. put it in kimchi too don't they? Um, <clears throat> I don't know for sure. I don't think I've seen a recipe with it in kimchi. I follow this. Um, or it could be because it has the sweet. So I don't see why they couldn't be. Now you're going to have me research. I know, right? <laughs> um, I follow this guy actually on Pinterest. Um, what is his name? He Cho? Chris Cho or something? The, like yeah, that? the one who like. The Yabo guy. Yeah. Yabo Yabo guy. Yeah. Yes. The broke boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Did he use that? 
Yeah, he uses Asian pear all the time. Oh, okay. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I, that would make sense because of that sweetness. It helps to kind of balance out like the spice or the the um the from the soy sauce and things like that. So I could see it. Yeah, he uses it all the time in a blender. Like when he has spice, he always adds mm -hmm. like the Asian pear in there to like. Yep. So, so it's not just a fruit. It's not just a fruit. <laughs> you can use it for like everything. <laughs> yes. But um, I would highly recommend going, and you probably want to do a day trip because you will spend hours in that store. Yes. I felt bad for you because I'm like walking around and I'm like. I have to go to every aisle. And then the one thing I got, so we have. Um, Why would you feel bad for me? I, right? <laughs> I feel bad like, for you. Yeah, right? I was like, I was like uh, she don't know what's on this aisle yet. And, right, exactly. And I opened it. I'm like, oh, every time I walked into every aisle, I was like, oh. And I, it, draw, it like drew me in. Um, and then she, I got introduced to, um, it's like a root, um, the root vegetable. It's pickled. We had it. Oh, the, the radish, the pickled radish. The pickled radish, yes. That is delicious. I love them. Yeah. So if you ever want to try Wait, Do you some... prefer it, the, the pickled, like not spicy, or do you like it like spicy and pickled? Um, The one I got, I don't think it was spicy. Oh, the, the white one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just the... And those last a while, don't they? Mm, I believe so. Don't ask me. Because <laughs> I, only, I only ate half of one so far <laughs> in a bag, so I got to get the rest of them. Uh, airtight. Just keep them in an airtight container. Yeah, I have them in a okay. Ziploc bag. As long as it's airtight, then you should be... Should, should be, be good. It should be okay. <laughs> yeah. So I just um have been learning a lot of different things from you lately. <laughs> and I'm totally I'm totally hooked on Korean food. Like I made bagulki. Yeah. Um, I brought it home. And it you've was, only scratched the surface. I've only scratched the surface into this. <laughs> yes. And I got gochu. Um that's gochu No, 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 gochugaru. Gochugaru. I will <laughs> one day be able to pronounce that properly. But the gochugaru, I use that. It was so. What did you good. put it on? Um, well, I added it to the soup that I had purchased. Um, those um, ramens that are super hot. Oh, so you're gonna put it on the spicy stuff on the already no, spicy because I, ramen? Right. I didn't think it was gonna be that spicy. Oh, I didn't. now you know you learned your lesson. <laughs> I was like, whoa, it was it was bad. But I had made that, um, and then I had boiled three eggs, mm -hmm. and then I peeled the eggs, and then I put them into the soup. Mm -hmm. And that is so good. Yep. It is so good. Yes. Yes, it is. Yep. Yes. You cannot so, go wrong with ramen and eggs. No, you can't. And I kept telling, I kept telling Ku, I was like, feels like my lips are a racetrack and the cars are doing burnouts on them <laughs> because my lips, I look like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> like my lips were super puffy. Jillian came mm -hmm. down. She's like, why are your lips so red? Why do they look so puffy? <laughs> because I just ate that soup. <laughs> I was literally tearing up. It it lasted. Did way you actually finish it? Uh no, I left it on the stove oh. top, and I told Jillian to eat it. Did she finish it? No, she didn't either. Oh, it was. Oh. And that was expensive too. Well, that's what you get. I, I told you it was spicy. I, 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 I told you you didn't believe me. <laughs> I know. I can't wait to make our next trip there. It's gonna be. Mm, yeah, we'll have to. Um, I need to pull um recipes because. Like, oh, if you go on their website, they give you recipes. Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. Yep. They give you recipes and then you can kind of go off of that too. Or if you, like Chris, you can probably watch what he does. And if you want to make something he makes, because he makes broke boys version of food. Yeah. <laughs> save money. He save money. <laughs> you can probably go off of that too. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I made that bagoki for the kids and like. And you got the pre-marinated one. The, yes. The pre-marinated mm -hmm. sliced. Oh my gosh. My kids were like. This has to be the best I've mm -hmm. ever had. Yep. I always, like I said, bagogi is a safe dish to try when you're trying Korean food for the first time. Because it's um, the the flavor palette of it is, I guess you could say, kind of similar mm -hmm. to American food. Or, you know, something that you probably would have eaten already so that it's not too much of a culture so shock. Yeah. Kimchi, not everybody likes kimchi at first. It's kind of like some a taste you have to acquire. <laughs> and see, I like I like pickled things. Like I've always yeah. I've loved pickles. Yeah, you hate pickles, but yes. you like kimchi, which yep. is pickled. Yep, and you like the radishes, which is pickled. Yep, don't you judge hate. me. <laughs> <laughs> but I cannot do a pickle in my burger. <laughs> you cannot do. I will cut that part off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but that's yeah. I just um, the food is so much more. It's so good, and it's mm -hmm. like it uses. Like incorporates a lot of vegetables yes. and like that's one of the best things. That's what I like about it. The veggies. It is. It, it can be time consuming though mm -hmm. to cook it because 
it's really only time consuming because of the preparation that goes along with I it. Because yeah. there's so many vegetables that you have to wash and cut and all that mm -hmm. stuff. But once you actually like cook everything, it's really fast for, for the most part, unless mm -hmm. you're making like the stews and stuff like that. Yeah, I definitely would. Um, like, and the meat is so thinly sliced. It's like I actually thought about actually buying a meat slicer, <laughs> like a cheap meat slicer off of Amazon. <laughs> Just because you wanted to recreate that. <laughs> yeah, because I can, you know, do it myself. And yes, you would save more. <laughs> you, you would. <laughs> yes. So if you have never tried Korean food or have never been to H Mart, it's a you must. need to do both mm -hmm. because it, it will must. change your life forever. Yes. yes. I, I, I literally crave it. Like I crave. Oh, so you know how I feel now? <laughs> yes, I do. Like, there's some times like, hey, but you at least have a really good Korean restaurant by you. I don't have any good ones by me. Oh yeah, so that, that you can true. always like pick up food from there. Take yourself, take yourself on a date there by you, myself like, when you need your me time. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yes, and I tried um yeah just a bunch of different things and it was really good. I tried octopus for the first time. Oh yeah, you didn't tell me it was in there, for, so thank nope. you for that. Of course, I never tell people. <laughs> I'm like, you eat it first, and I'll let you know. <laughs> Just like, just like when you had the chicken gizzards. Remember? Yes, yes, yes. I so I had chicken gizzards for the first time as well, and I but wasn't was, really. But it was um, battered and deep fried. It was battered and deep fried. Everything and it had is a, better, a sweet, battered, savory sauce to it. It did. Um, so I wasn't really sure what gizzards were. I mean, I know I've heard of them. I thought that was like the gizzard was like the neck of the turkey. That's what I thought we were like the Adam's apple or something like that. <laughs> you, that's what I thought we were eating. You were hoping that's what it was. <laughs> And I was like, okay, you know, I got past it. It is chewy, mm -hmm. so it has a different texture. Yes. So, like, if you're like, you can't do texture, you might not. You might not like it. it. <laughs> but um, I I kept doing it because I was like, I have to get past the texture. And then when I was done eating it, that's when I looked up what it was because I knew that if I looked it up prior to, you I wasn't have. gonna eat it. Yeah. And I was just gonna think about it. Well, I would have destroyed it anyway, <laughs> even if you did, because it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> And then when I was reading about it, when they told me about it, that they were telling me how healthy it is for you. Right. You were like, ew. But then you heard about the health benefits. I'm of like, it. wow, <laughs> this is super healthy. This is now super I know why they eat it. I know. I know. <laughs> so it was definitely, definitely, definitely delicious. But it was just getting past that, that, that one. But the Korean pancake that we had in, um, the one place that we went to, to the, um, buff, um, was it the seafood one? Yes. Oh, that had the octopus and that didn't tell you. <laughs> yes. But it didn't taste fishy at all. Yes. It, and no, it was it like super crunchy. Mm -hmm. It was probably like the best pancake that I ever had. And when I, I actually have, um, a pancake seasoning that I had bought from H Mart that you still it, need to try that I still need to do. And I bought a bunch of scallions because I want to make a scallion pancake mm -hmm. and I just, I can't wait to do it. So yeah. I just haven't had time to. Yep to do it but i'm super excited and i have all my sauces now which is great because i had <laughs> as soon as i walked in there i said show me where all these sauces are that we had at the korean restaurant yeah, because i need megan them megan is a sauce person she I'm, has to have her goddamn sauce i am a condiment queen <laughs> like i asked how many condiments did i have in my drawer at work too many i always knew if i needed something i knew where to go because she would have it i always did <laughs> taco sauce steak sauce <laughs> Horseradish, yeah. sauce, ketchup, <laughs> mustard. Yep. Anything that you needed, I had. Aioli. A <laughs> you had aioli in the fridge. I, yep, I had aioli in the fridge. <laughs> like, I need my condiments. And, like, yep. when I started at my new job, and that's actually really funny. When I started at my new job, um, I opened the fridge, and I'm like, you're kidding me. Oh, because they were. There's empty. nothing. Like, they yeah. had French dressing, and that was it. I'm like, uh -huh. you don't have mayonnaise. You don't have ketchup. You don't have mustard. You don't have barbecue sauce. You yeah, don't I'm have. I'm offended. I was. <laughs> I was, I was like literally the next day I stopped to pick and save yeah. on my lunch hour and I grabbed all those condiments and you're like, here, 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 now live. I know. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my gosh, like I like need these in, in here yeah. and people use them. They're like, I never thought of buying condiments. Like, like no shit. <laughs> okay. Like you don't, I mean, I even had soy sauce in the fridge. <clears throat> like it was just things that I, the things that you use, you know? So, but other than that, yeah. <laughs> but but as you can see, though, even though you were going through a lot of stuff, though, you were trying, you were still having moments where you were trying new food, having new experiences. Yes. Like, and did I, that help you, like, take your mind off of things and absolutely, like, kind of ease things up a little bit until you went back home? <laughs> <laughs> until I went back yelling. Yeah, until I went back home. No, it, it does help me out, like, just being able to get out. 
um like just even going to h mart with you mm -hmm. just even going shopping like going to a restaurant and that's the thing too is like um i've been you know so depressed lately that like it it affects me wanting to leave the house mm -hmm. it does as a person who lives with depression it does when when you are feeling depressed when you're deep into depression you don't want to leave your house you want to be there it's kind of like a comfort zone or, or it, something yeah I, I would say a comfort zone but it also like safety it, net yeah safety net More but like it, a safety net but it kills you at the same time it does it, you it know does. it does and double-edged sword <laughs> it is it is you know it's like i used to sit downstairs in the living room and now the living room has become just too whatever for me and i have to go um up to my room and i have to sit in there because that's where i feel safe mm. So that makes sense, but but it's like I can't live in one room, you know what I'm no, saying? Right. Because it just goes back to when I lived with my parents when I before I bought my house. Yeah, like that one. But I was in a better state of mind. I was ha like I wasn't as depressed. Like, but what was the difference though? Oh, I was working out. I was happy. I was healthy. I um, you were doing things for yourself. But the thing is, is too like with when you work out. Just your whole demeanor and the way you treat yes. yourself, your self love, like your, the way you think, yes, like, about yourself, about people, about the world in general is different, right? It's more positive. It is. It is. So it's just I just try to take every day, just one day at a time. Back then, and now I'm like living my life ahead. You know. What about like, because you have dogs? <coughs> what about like just walking the dogs? That's at night. Like, that's not a heavy. Like, you know, like a um, hard workout, but just taking the dogs out, um, if not all of them, but like one each day, like rotate them, just going out for like a 20, even a 20 minute walk. That would make such a big difference. Oh, it probably would. Absolutely. Um, they're so, just hard to walk. I mean, they're hundred and something pounds and they're, <laughs> excuse me, all over the place. Um I have three German Shepherds. I overcommitted when I got the dogs. They're huge. <clears throat> they're huge. And I'm uh, terrified. I don't yeah. go in no. <laughs> unless they're not in the room. Yeah. <laughs> they're huge. And um, I think I probably have almost 400 pounds of dogs. I never thought, like, I look at people's German Shepherds and they're like 85, 90 pounds. And I have giants. Like, my dogs are at least 130 pounds each, and Star's about 100 and something. Is it just because of what, how they are, or? I think it's just, I don't know, genetics. The, her uh -huh. dogs are huge, and... Oh, okay. So... Okay, that makes sense. <coughs> so, um, just walking them is a struggle. And okay. A half. Okay. So, <coughs> I think this is what you should do. I would say, for, from now until um, the end of the year, just get moving in any way possible because that that'll help you to feel better, be, be more energized. And then maybe that'll slowly get you back into the gym. So, yeah, even if you don't go to the gym, just be active though for 20 minutes. Right. Just 20 minutes a day. Yeah, absolutely. It'll make a big difference. It will. Mm -hmm. And then um, as far as you, like, how do you like what are you going to do for mm -hmm. yourself? Take accountability for being a lazy <laughs> bitch. <laughs> No, actually, um, I uh, I did a um, a learning for for work. I did a learning for work, and it was um, talking about like goal setting and how you can go about like accomplishing your goals. Right. And um, they talked about goal setting, but then they also talked about like recognizing what what can be standing in the way of you know you accomplishing those goals. And it actually had has I I did I took the class last week, so I've been thinking a lot about it and starting making like a list of things. And that's where I, I want to start is really like sit down and really break down the list, really say, really make a focus with the list, you know, like, OK, like I definitely want to start working out again because I love the way that I felt. I love the way that my mind um, was feeling. My mind was the things that I were thinking, you know, I was thinking like I love that. I love that version of me. I don't know how else to say it, but I loved that version of me who enjoyed working out, who had to work out like I love that because I just loved everything that it was pulling to me mm. just like positivity and happiness and that's what I, I want back in my life but I know that 
I got off course because I started getting too comfortable, started getting lazy, making excuses. Oh, I can't work out today because of blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, you can't commit to, you know, helping to watch the kids. You can't commit to uh, meeting up with friends if you're not putting, you know, things, you're not putting the time in on yourself. Like, that's just, it's a waste of time. Like, mm -hmm. I have to focus on me. So I want to make that list and I want to say, what's the most important thing on this list that I want to accomplish and what's holding me back from it? So the part of the class was like, you have to also recognize what are the things that can possibly distract you from accomplishing your goals mm -hmm. and, and then how are you going to accomplish that? Right. So that's just something I'm like, oh, I can apply that to work. I can apply that to my life and something that I really need to do. So instead of just talking about it, I actually need to sit down and do it. Yeah. And I remember <laughs> too, like um, just about self love and things like that. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, getting to the point where you are in your life where you're happy. And then like you go backwards and you take that all away from yourself. Yeah. It's like when you're there in that moment and you feel that moment and you slowly go back, it's like a moment that you crave so much. It's almost like a high, like you want to get that high again. I never would have understood that if I didn't start out the year that I did, to be honest. Yeah. I never would have because I really, I don't know, because we didn't really didn't see each other especially since you you started working at a different location. So we really didn't see much of each other. But I don't know if you saw or at all or saw any difference in just my demeanor and, and mm -hmm. anything. But, like, I want that person back. Like, I want to be that person again. And it's just, most importantly, stop wasting my time doing things that are, like, not important or not necessary. Yeah, and, like, it's so simple, but it's so hard at the same time. So yeah. it sounds so contradicting. But it's, like... It's how do of, you get back to that? How do you get back there? Because we started, we built bad habits. <laughs> yeah, we have to break those bad right. habits to get back to where we right. were when we were having good habits. <laughs> right. And, and I'm just trying to think of where I was in my life when I was at the lowest, mm -hmm. when I met you. And we decided like, hey, we're going to change our life. Like I want to the like funniest thing about that was I'm like, this bitch wants me to go to the gym. Who the fuck does she think she is? <laughs> <laughs> right. It was like, I just got to know you. Like, do you want to be my gym buddy? Like, like are you fucking calling me fat, bitch? <laughs> no, I was, I, I accepted. <laughs> yeah. I, was like, I was like, I know I'm fat, but damn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, um, but no, I, yeah, no, but you, you, you do, you want to go back and you want to think about, okay, how did I get there? And how do I get back there? Right. And it's like, it's so simple to me. Yeah. But it's so hard. Right. It's like, it so, is. it's a double edged sword. It's like, you know what you need to do, but it's like, I'm trying to think in my head, like what actually clicked, what went on that, what light bulb went on that said, you know what, this is what, this is what I'm going to do now. Yep. And, um, it's so hard for me to like, try to find like that, that click, you yeah. know? Yeah. And it's like, Oh, like, so you need to I would, sit down. I need to sit down and probably write and start journaling, like, my feelings. I know you keep telling me. I know you keep coming Girl, from me. Girl, journaling changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not as consist consistent with it anymore, but I started to do it, um like, every two weeks again. I was doing it, like, every Sunday for months. Every Sunday, I was just writing. It doesn't matter if it was one sentence, a paragraph, three pages sometimes. I, but I was like, you're going to journal. Like I wanted to journal and it does. It really helps you to sort your feelings, sort your thoughts out. Mm -hmm. And it really refocuses you as well too. Like it, I had a lot of times where I was just like, no, nah, I'm done. I'm done. But then like, once you write down why I feel this way because of this and it just, and then like for me, I don't know about you, but for me, girl, I went back in time and said, oh, that's why you feel that way. Girl, you better go on now. <laughs> Get over that. Forgive it. Forget, forgive yourself. Whatever happened is the past. So it's a, there's a lot of healing that goes into journaling as well, too, that I, I found anyways. Yeah. And I think so. that um, I do think that that is something <laughs> that I should start. I know you keep telling me that I need mm -hmm. to journal, keep doing it, keep mm -hmm. doing it, do it, do it. And I think that um, it's something that I, I mean, I have journaled in the past, but mm -hmm. it's just different. Um, I think it's just a different type of journaling that I need to do, like more self-reflection. Yes. That's, journaling. Yep, yep. Yes. 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 I have a special pen for that. I have a special notebook. <laughs> I have a special journal for that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's funny because uh, one of my coworkers was selling uh, for twenty dollars like a hundred and fifty different color assorted pens, like yeah, for twenty bucks. So I bought them. You did? Yeah, because they were like 
almost 80 bucks. Yeah. You know, and they come, each one comes with a, a refill to the pen. Oh, okay. So like it was like 80 bucks and she wanted 20 bucks for it. So I did. So I'm like, they're, they're sitting there and I'm thinking like, what do I need to do with these pens? I can journal. Or you can do like a weekly planner type of thing where you, like you can say, you know, work out on this day for for this long and mm-hmm. give yourself like a checklist does a checklist help you maybe try a checklist so for some people a checklist um helps them for me it does not because <laughs> i'll be like Oops. no i don't think a checklist hap- uh checklist really doesn't work for me because it makes me overwhelmed to see all the stuff that i have to do accomplish. well then don't put so much on there <laughs> i know right like megan you have 500 things on your checklist you would though you would i would have 500 things on your i checklist. would be like okay like these 10 things can go into one megan why yes. do you have to put them out separately exactly so, but no, I think that I, I think that, um, I mean, you, you see like, um, so like my daughter has mental health issues and she, mm-hmm. um, had been admitted into, um, like a psychiatric unit when she was, um, not feeling well mentally and, um, they did journaling there and she had explained mm-hmm. to me that they did journaling yes. and sat down. Yes, girl. And, um, yeah, like it was like, a, but the journaling that they did, um, on, on the unit that she was on. All the people that were in um, that area went to the table, went, sat at a table. Mm -hmm. They had their journals and they would journal together. And then eventually what would happen was that journaling like this had Mm -hmm. one person open up and start talking. And then another person would open up and start talking. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, um, people were journaling other people's thoughts, like Mm -hmm. things that were positive. Like, well, I never thought to be positive or love myself like that. So then they would yes. write that into their journal. Yes. So it was um That's when, a really good exercise. Yeah, yeah, it is. So when Alyssa had told me that, mm-hmm. I was like, so what do you do? You just sit in your room. She's like, no, they have us interacting during generally time. I said, how does that go? And she had told me, and I'm like, that's a really good idea because well, we can start journaling on Sundays. Then we can start journaling. video call journaling. <laughs> yeah, video, video call journaling. Virtual journaling. <laughs> oh my gosh, the new our new there you go. Uh, our million dollar idea. <laughs> right. Virtual journaling. Um. I'm but, serious though. We can start virtual journaling and trying that exercise out because if it can help you, I'm all for it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm all for it. But Alyssa just said it was really nice because she said that they thought of things that she didn't think of mm-hmm. or like good like phrases to use yes. or like uplifting thoughts or feelings yes. or quotes and stuff like that. And um, I feel like too, like I, my calm is poetry. Like I love poetry. Mm-hmm. I love art. Yeah. And I think, um, that that helps me with my depression like a lot and of that's the thing too though you can journal anytime any kind any kind of way yeah so mm-hmm. if you want to do art express yourself that way you know write a poem whatever write a journal entry yes but write do something um productive to express yourself and that'll yeah. help and i think that um i don't think it's something i'm going to start doing because like i said like that high that I had when I was who I was mm-hmm. um, prior to COVID shutting down. And, you know, I was on top of the world and like, it's like the, it was the best high ever. And I yeah. searched for that high. Yeah. I want that feeling again. Like yeah. I want to be able to feel like a whole new person because yeah. I did, I felt like a whole new person when I was like that. So yeah. um, we can like, you know, like next time when we, um, we uh, meet up, we can focus on like, our journaling and what we did and what we accomplished mm-hmm. and like where we are at our next, our next session. Yeah. Because I think it's important too, for like people who are listening, like who are having the same thing, mm-hmm. like to see like how we constructed it, how we did it and yeah. how we feel and what we've accomplished. Right. That meaning that everyone can do it. Right. Oh, help, help others too. Yeah. Because it's, it's real. <laughs> it's all over. And a lot of times it's, it's, oh, I don't want to say sad, but it is crazy that people feel so alone when they're vulnerable like that, you know, feel so alone when they're in that depressed state Yeah, and don't know how to express themselves. So, and that's the thing too, is like, um, that's just another thing that is like, I think about too, is when, mm-hmm. um, I first started at work, Yeah, I, I, I have this face, like no one knew my problems. No one knew what I was going through. Like everyone thought I had this great life. And it's like, it's like, wow, like you can walk next to someone and you can be like, oh, look at they're smiling, Mm -hmm. but they could have like 
the worst like, turmoil going on. Even now at work when we have like our work meetings and they're like, Meg is like the happiest person in the world. I know. That's what Lisa, <laughs> Lisa Grady, like, yeah, she always says like, you are the most happiest person in the world. Mm-hmm. Like you smile. Yeah, you, and you're so positive. Da, and, da, 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 yeah. Da, yeah. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. It, that's like that's almost a, like I must be like a I could be a million dollar actor because like <laughs> everything else that's behind that face yeah is like not that no but I also choose how to express myself yeah in certain situations and, and sometimes work is not the best place to talk about those kind of things or talk about like the stuff that's going on at home too you know? yeah you, you you I don't know I guess you could say work is kind of like an escape from all that so you don't want to bring that the issues or if you're having that negativity at home you don't want to bring that to work because then that brings down your work day that bring down brings down your attitude and that brings down your productivity right so and that's the thing too is like i don't want to bring it to work because mm-hmm. i love my job so much mm-hmm. like i have met multi- a lot of people i've made you know some new friendships like and my job just all together is amazing mm-hmm. like i couldn't ask for a better job yeah so like i don't want to bring that to my job yeah because i want to excel and do yeah. good so yeah. at least but you want to be that person, but I want to be that person, that person, not that just person. at work. Right. I, to be honest, <laughs> I want to be that, that person that everyone sees every day. Yeah. I want to be that real person. Like, right. I don't want to be like fake. Yeah. Cause that's what I, I feel. Think, I feel like I'm fake. I think that's just another side of you, but it's just that you have a lot going on that you have to deal with and work out and sort out at home. Yeah. And it's just going to take a lot of steps. <laughs> it is going to take a lot of steps. And time. <laughs> steps, time, focusing, refocusing, regrouping. Yeah. Healing. Healing. A lot, lot, lot of healing. healing. Mm-hmm. And learning just to take one day at a time. Yeah. It's like, I'm already in December right now in my mind. And it's like. Girl, you better back up. Right. <laughs> I didn't get my turkey yet. <laughs> <laughs> I need my stuffing. <laughs> right? We didn't get through Halloween yet. I thought you'd be excited to see I'm already in Christmas. <laughs> Miss Pooh, oh. who's listening to Christmas music already. I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Are you really? Yes, I am. And I'm already planning. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm planning ahead. <laughs> I would give her such shit because, like, she'd be playing Christmas music. In like, July. <laughs> in July. She says she loves Christmas so I much. Do. It's her favorite season. Our it favorite is. season. Mm-hmm. But yet she's never seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation or Elf. What? Anyways, <laughs> that's exactly. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of Will Ferrell. I don't think he's that funny. I didn't like. I didn't care for him on Saturday Night Live. I don't. I don't really care for his movies. But he, that. So I know there's people who like you're you're on the fence with Will Ferrell like cilantro. You either love it or hate it. Yeah. So, but in that movie, Elf. He does it so well. So I've been told by multiple people. So this year I will watch it. Like I said, the last two, <laughs> two three years. <laughs> and you have to watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Okay. You have to. So don't watch Home Alone and watch those. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. But no, when you watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, when you watch it, I really honestly believe that you will like look at that family as me and Scott. Like I really do think it like. Now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's just, they're good movies and they're, they're good family movies. And yeah. And then your nephew will probably love Elf and he'll want to watch it all the time. You'll probably love it too. I watch Elf in July too. I don't tell anyone like, because I don't want to be like you <laughs> listening to Christmas music in July. Hey, don't hate, don't hate <laughs> if I could. <laughs> I listen to it all year long. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then speaking of Christmas, like I used to love Christmas too. That mm-hmm. used to be my favorite. Like just like the music, like the smell of Christmas, like this. And you know, like I mm-hmm. haven't had that feeling like that. I mean, yeah. something about Christmas like brought out the best in me. Yeah. And I was just more of a humble person, a better person. I was happy. Um, I listened to the Christmas music. I loved decorating. There was just some type of feeling that I felt around there. And I just haven't yeah. felt that feeling in a long that time. That jolly holiday feel. Yes. And I loved, like, you know, buying gifts and wrapping gifts. And now it's just like, I'll just wrap it in a plastic bag and throw it under the tree. <laughs> I'm like the Grinch. 
I'm disgusted by you. I know you are. <laughs> I know. It's okay. The one year I was so tired of wrapping that I literally threw the clothes onto the, I didn't even put it in boxes. I just threw it in the wrapping paper. I rolled it up and I just taped it. And I'm like, you oh, know what? That's, These kids are going to just rip this open anyway. So screw it. <laughs> that's exactly how I do it. I'm not ra- like, you should see my wrapping. Like literally, I'm not even kidding you. And you should hear me when I wrap. Um, mm. The F word is come. I'm I was like, going to say fuck, screaming, fuck, screaming because I lose my tape. Yep. And I lose my scissors. And everything's rolling around. And everything's rolling dropping. around. And then this year, you've got three dogs. How are you going to do that? Oh, <laughs> last year. Last year, I bought um, Alyssa an anime um, uh, mouse, mouse pad. Uh-huh. With, like It was this anime guy she likes. And the guy, the butt cheeks were the guy's the anime's butt cheeks. <laughs> so I ran. I, I, I wrapped it up. Put it under the tree. Right? The dogs got to it. The dogs got to it. It ate his butt cheeks off. (laughs) Opened the present and ate his butt cheeks off. (laughs) And I told, I mean, and like, I don't know what kind of silicone like was in there because it was mushy. Like, you could press it, right? Nope. They devoured the butt cheeks. And then I threw it at Lisa. I said, here's your mouse pad. And then she's like, what is this? I'm like, your mouse pad. (laughs) And then she's like, where's his butt? I'm like, it's one of the dogs because I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. So then I was going to like try to return it. And I'm like trying to think of every like thing that I could think of. Your dog ate your home. No, yeah, I was gonna be like, um, it came damaged like that. Um, it didn't come with butt cheeks. Um, but I just ended up reordering it. I was gonna say, did you replace it? Yeah, I wanted to send it back. I was so upset. I got it literally that day from Amazon. Yeah, and I wrapped it, and literally, I don't think it was the next. I think it was still that night. Yeah, I walked downstairs, and I'm like. Okay, there's pre- there's pre- ra- a wrapping paper presents. Okay, what is? And I look and I'm like, of course, <laughs> of course. Do you you don't get your presents? No, no. Oh, my sister. Um, the first year that they had the dog, they gated it. The first year that she did Christmas when they were engaged, married, or whatever, they gated it so that the tank couldn't get to the presents. But he seems to be good with it now. I don't think they gated it anymore. He knows that he's not supposed to touch the presents. Yeah. Oh, but you got three of them. They only got one. So <laughs> I I. They eat everything. They eat everything. <laughs> yeah. They're ter- Yeah. So, but yeah, I just, I couldn't believe it. I had to laugh about it because I'm like. They ate his booty. <laughs> they ate his butt. Like nothing else was chewed. It was just his butt. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyways, um, like I just think like we can next time, definitely, hopefully the other girls are here <laughs> where we can, um, the other girls are here so we can, you know, just kind of, we can you know, we, fo- we can focus on probably this again, mm-hmm. but we can focus on like where we've come mm-hmm. and then we can talk to the girls about where they are now yeah, and how they want to, what they want to do to like change if they're, what they're going through. Yeah. And then we can revisit it in a third mm-hmm. episode where we can all talk about like where we've all come. Yeah. Because yeah. I really would like to see change within myself. Um, I think it's really important. And Hold I yourself need- accountable. Yeah, yes. it needs to happen. Yeah. It's just it's... well, I'm giving you a week. Next Sunday we start virtual journaling, so I'm giving you a week. Get your little journal. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm gonna have to. Amazon. I'll probably get one from Amazon. Yeah, get something. Nightmare before Christmas or something. Oh my gosh! Yes, <laughs> Nightmare before Christmas or something like that. Yeah, yes. something that will, I don't know, inspire you. Or you know what I did too? I bought a a hardcover notebook from I think Target. And it's just all black. And then I got this. I forgot what glue was, but it's just some type of glue that if it comes off, you can just wipe it clean Mm -hmm. off and it doesn't like leave any residue or anything. But I printed out like a lot of like positive messages. Mm -hmm. And um, I did like a little. What's that called? Oh, like, um, like a. Like a picture. I'm drawing a blank. Yes. <laughs> Where you like piece together it. Like you yes. made you made your own you made yeah. your own cover. Yeah, but just having like positive things and things that make me happy, like coffee, Toronto. <laughs> right. <laughs> I fucking love Toronto. Yes. Um, traveling, just positive like uh quotes and things like that. Um, and I just put it all over the cover. And every time I looked at that cover, it made me happy and it, it made me like want to go in that notebook and do things in there. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, maybe something like that. Maybe yeah, you use Mod Podge. Pod Podge, yeah, I think I so. Because is it clear? Yeah, it dries yes. clear. There it looks go. it looks like um, hazy when you put it on, but it dries clear. Yeah, and then you can just like wipe it off. Or yes, yes. I never knew about it. <laughs> they have it at the dollar store, believe it or not. Oh, no. do they? Yes, no, they do. Okay, <laughs> yes. Because I lost mine. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> yes, yes. So 
Yeah, I did that. So I did that for one. I haven't honestly gone back in there in a couple of years, but that's because I have a new journal that I've been yeah. using. So once I fill up this journal, then I'm going to go in, back into that one and start like writing and things like that. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's important. And mm -hmm. yeah, we can all focus like next time that we um, meet, we will definitely focus on like where we've come in that mm -hmm. amount of time. Yeah. And then we can bring the girls into it too. Yeah. And then I really think it'd be good too. Like, um, we can see like maybe in three months, like where we all are, like oh, what yeah. have we accomplished like in three months? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that, um, and then we can see what we need to twerk or whatnot, mm -hmm. but I really feel like, um, Oh, that reminds me in the class that I took. They also were saying how, if you have a big goal, give yourself small steps and celebrate the small steps mm -hmm. getting to that big goal, because, the more you celebrate yourself, the more positive you're going to feel about it, the more, you know, the more you're going to want to keep going towards that goal. Right. So that's also food for thought, too. <laughs> yes, I definitely will. And I think that um, I think we can do it. I think yeah. I can do it. It's just restructuring my mindset. Yes. And that's going to be the hardest thing to do. And stop yelling. And stop yelling. <laughs> you hear my voice? Probably because I'm, I'm I yell so much. I'm so loud, though, naturally. But I'm also... I'm a very loud person. Yes, you are. Very loud. I'm, I'm naturally loud. I could hear you down the hall when I was training. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why Brittany always closed the door on me? Yep. She's like, <laughs> no. <"Shh." laughs> so, yeah, so that's what we're going to do is we're just going to focus mm -hmm. on getting our lives together. In we the last couple of months. Yep. But have some me time. Yes, me time. And then definitely for me getting out of the house more and not staying in my room. Like and a hermit. Don't, and don't wait on people. And stop waiting on my kids. Yes. Take yourself out. Yes. I bought an air fryer for a reason so they don't have to use the stove so I don't have to worry about a fire. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> I, I I know. I know. Have they used the air fryer? They have and they love do they, it. Oh, do they? Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> so they don't yeah. love cleaning it, but they use it. But hey. <laughs> I know. They make their own meals. The mess that it saves. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, it took forever. I, brought, I bought my parents one um, for Christmas like two years ago. They wouldn't touch it for an entire year. And then when they finally were like, okay, we need to get healthy. And they finally started using it. They can't put it down. I know. They cannot put it's it like down. It's like you almost need to buy another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got the Instapot one. And it's Ooh. it's really big. And it's like you press it's button. You press button. So yeah. It's digital. And I got it on sale for like a hundred bucks. They're like normally a hundred and like sixty nine. Yeah. 100. But I got it. And where? Amazon. Oh. It is the best air fryer. Recently? Recently. Probably oh, when they were like having that sale, right? Yes. The but Prime it, deals? I think so, yeah. But it was it was literally the best air fryer mm -hmm. I've ever owned because I've owned three of them. Yeah. So two prior. And one was the one where the drawer, but then the drawer, like, I, I think someone dropped it, to be honest, because the drawer didn't fit in all the way. Oh, yeah, because my mom dropped ours and it doesn't really fit. You have to, like, Yep, that's how mine there. is, too. <laughs> so, and then that one, it just, it didn't air fry the way I like it. Yeah. So, and the second one I bought was okay, but then, like, it's after, like, a couple months, no. Yeah. But this Instapot one I have is you're like yes yes it is amazing <laughs> i actually made rajas con queso um the what? other day yeah so poblano peppers oh okay as i know queso queso know yeah, cheese so like i had oh, okay i had to take the poblanos and you have to roast them yes and you have to peel the skin yes. so i actually just put them like put a little bit of oil on them threw them into my the air fryer, air fryer? Oh. they were done in eight minutes nice eight minutes nice they're all charred in eight minutes i yeah. threw them into the bag let them um steam yeah and those skins came right off nice so i'm like oh and then my dogs ate the rest of my food so i only got to enjoy that meal once and it was a lot so they had a lot of bottle peppers they can eat that they got it off the table they just ate it ouch <laughs> i'm thinking about coming out i looked at the container and i was like yep i know what that is and i know what it is like, you guys ate my dinner <laughs> So, yeah, so if you like um, air fryers, Instapot is the way to go. I swear by it. I have an Instapot. I swear by it. I have all Instapot <laughs> items, actually. Oh, do you? Yes. Okay. Well, I really don't buy stuff because my parents are very picky about their dishes, their pots, their pans, their even their knives. I don't touch their knives. No. Well, that's the thing. You know what? I think about it, too. I just answered my own question. Mm -hmm. You can get help. On how to eat properly. It took eight minutes to cook <laughs> Lovano peppers. Like eight of them. Yeah. So there's no reason why I can't just throw a chicken breast in there and yep. let set it and forget it. Yep. So that I answered my own question. There you go. There you go. 
utilize my air fryer more. <laughs> By the next time you see me, I'll be down 25 pounds. <laughs> Knowing the way you are, you could probably be down more than that. <laughs> uh, yeah. When I focus and I'm ready to, and, and I go hard. Yeah. I accomplish a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I think you can do it. I think you definitely can. I can. You'll be like, oh my gosh, Megan, who, who is the person walking in the door? <laughs> it's me. I use my air fryer. <laughs> And I'll be like, we got to invest, you guys. <laughs> I know I call it my cooking creature. Your cooking creature. <laughs> no, I have to look into it now, too, then, because we we do need a new one, a bigger one, too, because ours is smaller. Yeah. But it was just, okay, let me try to get my parents on it. And then they weren't on it. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. Not everybody uses it for everything. So, yeah, well, I fit five plebano peppers in there. Yeah. So, Oof. it it's it's big. It has yeah. a big thing. So, <laughs> definitely invest in it. Look it up. I'll actually show you the link I got it off of my Amazon. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, it was very nice having this. So how do you feel now that you've been able to kind of talk about things? And I feel better. Do you? I do feel better. Good. And I feel I feel a lot better because um, tonight I'm supposed to be going over to um, one of my my husband's friend's house mm -hmm. um, for dinner. Mm -hmm. And like I was literally having a panic attack yeah. this morning. Well, before I left to come here and to go there because I just didn't want to leave the house. Oh, yeah. And Scott kept telling me, he's like, you better go. You better go. You better yeah. go to this podcast. You better go to Christina. You better get out. You better go. Yeah. He said, "Um, I'm not going to have you say no. So I did. And I feel a lot better. And I'm happy that I did get out because now I actually look kind of forward to going. That's a that's a big step, though, just to even leave. So you should applaud yourself for that. <laughs> Yay. Wait, is there an applause? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's applauding to me. So, no, I feel really good. I feel happy that I got out today. I and you got hard. to release some stuff. Yes, it was nice. And now you have a plan. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's always like, like just every time like I'm with you, like I always feel better. Mm -hmm. Like I just feel like we've accomplished so much. We've been through so much mm -hmm. together. We've been there for each other. Like yeah. I feel like whenever I see you, like you're my, my I, I feel different. Oh. <laughs> so can you move in with me? <laughs> I can see each other every day. <laughs> uh, about, about them dogs, don't. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let them out every time. <laughs> right. Every time you got to come out, they got to go outside. Right. You'll open the door and be like, is the bathroom okay? Is the bathroom okay? I'll be like, run. Uh, first of all, you said one of your dogs know how to open the door. So that's not going to work. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes. So, but no, I'm happy I came out. And good. It's definitely was very hard to come out today. I didn't want to. Yeah. But, but you did it. I focused myself and I said, I'm going to go. Yes. Because I would have people who were very mad at me if I didn't. <laughs> it would have just been me. <laughs> I know, right? And people like, oh, I'm just going to talk to myself. Talk to myself. <laughs> like you I'm in my room. <laughs> right? Exactly. Well, you have a lot of stories. You're all your traveling that you do and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's like everybody always says that. But when it's my turn to talk, I can't think of anything. <laughs> it's like your mind goes blank or something. It does. It does. It does. But maybe it's because I woke up at four today. I woke up at four today. Well, at three forty-five. You know why? Why? Because BTS had a free concert. <laughs> oh my gosh! And it was at six p.m. Korean time, so it was four p.m. four a.m. our time. So I was up, and you know, I wish that I had that type of energy when I have to go to work because I was up like that. Like I had no issues getting up, wide awake, sat up, had my iPad on, watching the concert, didn't sleep. <laughs> They wake to the whole thing. Every every morning that you wake up, you're just gonna have to think that BTS is gonna be at your desk. I should, but then I'll be so disappointed when I get there and they're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. I wish I had that type of energy because I woke up today like, woo, woo, let's go. And I'm like, man, when it's time for work, I'm like, snooze, 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 snooze. 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 Yep. <laughs> yep, you and me both. You and me both. So, yeah, so we'll focus on that then. We'll focus yes. on journaling, getting everything yes. done. Get your journal. Yep. No excuses next Sunday. No, I won't. And then uh, we'll journal together. And then we'll, um, next episode, we'll talk about mm -hmm. what we accomplished. And then we'll bring the girls into it to see what they would like to do. Yep. Yep. That sounds like a plan to me. All right. All sounds right. good. Thanks, Thanks for joining thank us Thank you for today. joining us today. <laughs> Bye. Bye.